there, family and friends. Good Saturday morning to you. Well, guess what? It's that time again. It's time for a promise a day, praying God's promises, where we are going through the promises of God, learning how to read a scripture, find a promise, draw it out, declare it over ourselves, breathe it in, take it in, and then respond in prayer. Day Today is day 11, and we're doing Matthew 6, 33. It's going to come from the New Living Translation. It says this. It says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything that you need. The promise that I am pulling out of this for today is when I seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, God will give me everything I need. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, just praying it out. So here's the prayer I crafted, and maybe we'll talk about it afterwards. Maybe we won't, because it is Saturday morning. Do you have bedhead still? I do. <laughs> I haven't even washed the, washed the sleep out of my eyes. That's what happens on Saturday mornings. I just get to it and start doing stuff, and next thing you know, I'm making a video without washing my face even. All right, here's the prayer and response that I crafted, and you can make your own. It says this, Father, I thank you for the clarity and vision that your word provides. I thank you that when I seek your kingdom above all else, and when I live righteously, you will give me everything I need. Because your word says that you will give me everything I need and does not say everything that I want, I ask that you help me to recognize when I become offended with you because my wants, my wants, not my needs, but my wants haven't been met. You being a good, good father know what's best for me and sometimes what I want isn't what's actually best for me. I ask you, Father, to forgive me for the times that I have become angry and offended with you for giving me all of my needs but not giving me all of my wants. Amen. So, I hope that you can find your own promises in this or use mine. It's super simple. Oh, I forgot to tell you that one of the reasons why I'm doing this is I found on BibleGateway.com that there are 5,467 promises in the Bible. And I personally, I think there's probably more, but I don't even know. I'm not searching them all out. And I'm just challenging myself to go through one promise a day, find a scripture, Find the promise contained in that scripture, pray it out, respond to it, breathe it in, take it in. And did you know that if there were, if there's just 5,000, just, just 5,467 promises, if you focus on just one promise a day, it would take you 14.98 years to get through them all. That is like 15 years. That is a lot of promises you could be declaring over yourself from the Bible. So I bless you to find God's promises, to make them your own, learn how to enjoy just them. And I talked about whenever you are praying them out, you can put your hands on your head or on your heart and just, just, you know, be aware of how your body changes and how your emotions change, especially when you're having a rough day, when you begin finding God's promises and making them part of your life. Y'all have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.